So we got to talk about the North American WCQ because I have some questions that hopefully you'll be able to help me answer as the wind blows something off my chair here. So go ahead and spank my ultra ball and call me Bruce Lee. Let's dive on into this. What's up everybody? Your favorite man with an ultra ball has written a book. It's called My Very Happy Life and it details my journey living with my rare cancer diagnosis known as Von Hippel Lindau disease. I want the book to inspire you and encourage you to reach for your dreams and the best part is half of all profits are going to support the VHL Alliance in order to help raise awareness on VHL. Link to my book is in the description. I hope you enjoy it. I promise you I thought of that on the fly. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most Avery LR32 here and destroy the ever-living Nationals boo-boo stain off of that like and subscribe button and that ding-dong Taco Bell notification bell so you can be part of the A-gang as we climb even higher the 1200 ladder. I apologize for any sort of background noise. My whole neighborhood's getting their yard cut at the same damn time. I guess. <laughs> the one time I decided to film outside. Anyways, um, I want to talk about the NAWCQ for this year because now that the information has been posted about it uh, and we've seen what the entry play map looks like, as you know, your boy came in 29th place at the Boca Raton Regional, and I'm actually having a really hard time deciding if I want to go. Now, you're probably wondering, Avery, why in the hell are you making a video about this? Because I want you to understand where it is that I'm coming from, that it's not just a matter of, oh, yes, I'm just instantly going to go, because I have these other things going on in my life that I'm really having a hard time deciding if it's even worth it to go to nationals. So... Let, let me just kind of explain everything as we kind of go through this video. So I live with my parents, for those of you who don't know. Um, it just makes the most financial sense for me to live at home. My parents are older, you know, I can help take care of things around the house that maybe they're not necessarily able to do because they're older. And this house is eventually one day gonna be mine. My dad will hopefully retire from his job in a couple years. We'll all pitch in to help pay for them to live on a condo on the beach. Meanwhile, your boy gonna get this house and we gonna be having some house parties every day. <laughs> so it just, it's never made sense in my life growing up to ever move the fuck out because it's like I have a house house basically like uh, there, there's no reason for me to leave now I say all this because of the fact that I was trying to find a plane flight like just a direct flight to North Carolina did you know in Florida you can't get a fucking direct flight from Florida to North Carolina the best one I was able to find was like three and a half to four hours long from like Southwest Airlines where you make one stop in Atlanta at that point it makes no sense for me to do a flight because it's going to take the same amount of time, if not longer, to take the flight compared to driving. So, like, if I drive, it's going to be, like, seven and a half, probably more like eight hours to get from where I live in Florida to North Carolina, whereas it would probably be about the same, if not longer, to go on a flight because, like, I found one where, like, you stop in Atlanta, so you'd have to get off at Atlanta, get on another plane, and all this shit, and it's, like, at that point, like, it's not even worth it. The only direct flight I could find was from a company, I think it was called, like, El Brizo, which is, like, Apparently they're really shitty and from what I've seen online like they're really crappy. So like it just it makes no sense So there's no direct flights. That's number one number two The weekend of nationals the following weekend I have to go to Moffitt Cancer Center in Tampa, Florida for my doctor's appointments and MRI scans and things like that So if I go to Nats and I like catch a cold I get sick I get you know, whatever Well now I can't go see my doctors which means I'm gonna have to reschedule which means I'm gonna have to pay out the ass to do that it's a lot of logistics that would have to get moved around. So there's that. I can't catch a cold if I do, I'm screwed. Like it's literally my, my health with my, my Von Hippel Lindau disease cancer stuff that I've talked about on the channel before. So that's a major red flag that I have to be careful of going to Nats. Money isn't an issue here. Like the money is whatever, like paying for a flight and all that, like none of that matters. Ignoring all of that. Then there's the issue with driving. Now, for those of you who are newer to the channel, one year ago, basically to the date when I got this invite at Boca Raton, one year prior was when we went to Boca Raton and played that 60 card branded Eldritch deck and your boy's red 392 Hemi, it's got one of the Vin Diesel motors on the outside, got broken into. My Dodge Challenger got broken into. Luckily, nothing was stolen, but it was there at Boca Raton where my car got broken into. So I'm not about to drive over eight hours to North Carolina in a sports car with like over 500 horsepower just to have my window get smashed again. We ain't doing that baby back bullshit. I'd rather go and touch grass. <laughs> so there's that. Now, why, why do I sort of like ignore that point? 
Well, because my parents are like, hey, listen, we've got some friends in Raleigh, North Carolina. We can go visit them. You can go to Nats and whatever. And I, I love my parents. I do. Driving with my parents is <laughs> a fucking experience. That's the only way I can describe it. I love my mama to death. I do. But she can't drive worth a damn. Now, when I say can't drive wor worth a damn, she's not a bad driver. No, no, no. She obeys the rules and laws of the road too fucking much. Like with her, it's going to probably be like an eight to maybe eight hour and 20 minute drive. She really obeys the rules of the road. Whereas your boy in his sports car, I could get that seven and a half hours down to like maybe seven to six and a half. And if I'm really trying, six. Like I'm just being honest, we may or may not go over 100 miles an hour on the freeway. That's all alleged. You didn't hear that from me. <laughs> so like I'm battling with that in my mind where it's like, do I really want to sit in a car? for eight hours just to get there. That's not even counting the seven and a half to eight hours to come the fuck back. Do I want to deal with all that to get, just for entry, a, a coin, a Yu-Gi-Oh coin, woo! I think they also give you a deck box. I can't confirm that. I don't remember if they give you a deck box or not. You get a pack of 60 sleeves of the, like the blue, really nice world championship ones, which I really do want. And then you get the entry mat, which is the Makanko cards, which, is arguably better than just seeing like a Nibiru on the front of the mat with like a blue background smashing into the earth. I do think the Makanko mat looks nice, but I'm like, is all of that worth it for a round trip basically of being 16 and a half hours? And I'm probably gonna scrub out day one because it's nationals. Like I'm pro honestly, I'm probably gonna go X5 drop, even playing purely Sprite because with my dog Waterlug, I'm gonna go against Pack then I'm gonna go against Jesse Cotton, then I'm gonna go against Joshua Schmidt, and like my asshole's gonna get blown out of the venue in like 10 minutes, and like all these players are gonna think I'm a scrub. I, I recognize that I am a good player, however, I'm also humble enough to recognize when I'm just out of my league, and if I go to nationals, this is the elite of the elite. Like this is the, like I said, the Joshua Schmidt's, the Jesse Cotton's, the Jeremy Mitchell's, for those of y'all who know who Jeremy Mitchell is in the Jacksonville area, he's one of YCS with Pendulum Magicians in the past. This is the Team Samurai's, the DZ's, the Trip Gaming's, like, it's all of these people. And I'm not saying that, like, oh, if I instantly go up against, like, Team Samurai, I can't beat them. To me, a player is a player. I'm going to try and whoop your ass however I can. Like, uh, to me, their their title, their accolades don't bother me. To, to me, at the end of the day, you're a human just like me. You're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! just like me. It's going to come down to who has the better hand and who plays out their, their cards better. Like, at the end of the day, that's all it's about. If you play test enough, you can beat anybody. So, there is that. <sighs> That's really what I'm struggling with right now because the, the biggest question mark for me is one, the driving. And for those of you who are like, well, Avery, I mean, eight hours isn't a big deal. You know, like I'm a truck driver or something like that. Like that, that's fine. You do you boo boo. But to me, I hate being in a car for a long ass time, especially when I'm not driving because I can only veg out for so long. And this is really spawned from the fact that keep in mind that whenever I do like my MRI scans and stuff, I usually do about two and a half to four hour long scans. Uh, whenever I go to Moffitt because you know, I've got the brain tumors. I've got the cyst on my spine I've got the I've possibly have renal cell carcinoma Like I have all these different cysts and tumors in my body to where it works out to where on average It's around two and a half to four hours sometimes three To do my MRI scans. So I'm just sitting there for hours on end and it's it's driven me nuts over the years that this has been going on This has been going on for like four years now So I'm like do I really want to go through all that? The, the weekend of Nats, possibly scrub out. Then the following weekend, travel four hours to Tampa and then four hours back, plus the time in the MRI machines and stuff at Moffitt. And honestly, me just talking about it now makes me not want to fucking go, which is a damn shame because it's like, out of the over 10 years that I've been playing this game competitively, the one thing I have yet to experience is Nats. One, uh, one year they had the World's Championship in Orlando, so I went to Orlando just to see what it was all about and and watch it live and you know experience the the aura. I guess I also tried out as a voice actor for the Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, not Bonds Beyond Time, but the Dimension movie thing with the Cubics. I tried out to be a voice actor in that. It was really cool. I was able to put it on my resume. <laughs> um, so like there was that. Like there was other fun stuff to do, right? Um, but I just don't feel like I can bring myself to go to Nats and do all of that legwork just to probably get my ass destroyed by like the Pax and Joshua Schmitz of the world. Like that just doesn't sound entertaining to me, even with the entry stuff. Like I've already registered in case like I changed my mind, but that's what I want to ask you guys. Like, do you think I should go? Do you think I should 
do this? Should I just stay home? Like, I, I really don't know. I really don't know. Like, I always have to wear a mask, like if I went to Nats because of like, you know, going to Moffat the following week and stuff. And like, to me, I'm not gonna get into the whole politics code or whatever, to me, that's just kind of ridiculous. But like, it's an option that I'm able to take. But I, I just, I don't know. And I don't feel like it's worth it to go through the headache of sitting there like a vegetable and just vibing out for over eight hours to go to North Carolina and possibly just scrub out. I don't know, I don't know. And this may be the closest that Nationals has ever been for me. Like normally it's in like Pittsburgh or Chicago or Vegas or whatever. And then I definitely wouldn't go because that's just way too damn far, even by a plane flight. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'm, I'm really stuck on this. So, and I thought it would make for an interesting video too for other people who are maybe thinking about going to Nats or maybe you're in the same boat as me and, you know, debating, especially with other personal things going on in their life that maybe they're not sure if they want to go. And this is the things that you have to keep in mind if you ever get your invite and you want to go to Nats. So this is more of a vlog style thing. Um, but guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.